Yes, that's right. It, it goes hand in hand here at the charity bar. You get a great cocktail, you give back to a charity, and they've been here since 2017. So they're all about giving back, but the cocktails are amazing. And here to help us today is bartender Brandon Torres. Brandon, I thought about it. B, you can go to Bora Bora, right? I totally could. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good trip. All right, so what are we making today, Brandon? All right, so the first cocktail we're going to make is this Paloma right here. It's one of our best sellers. Very uh, uh, nice tequila forward cocktail. Very bubbly because of the Topo Chico that we put on top of it. Nice. And it has a lot of grapefruit, so it's very tart and refreshing. Mm -hmm. we Especially batch, with the hot weather, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, it definitely sells a lot during the summertime. We batch it out, so we already have it all ready. So all we got to nice. do is put four ounces into our shaker tin right here. So that's two ounces right there. And another two ounces. So delicious cocktails, you're located right here by the Iron Dome off Cherry and Montana Street, right? Uh, yeah, um, we get a lot of business coming in from the Alamo Dome. Everyone mm -hmm. seems to love to come over after events and hang out with us. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing the shaking. <laughs> so this one's a customer favorite then, the Paloma. Now, if somebody wants to do a happy hour, you have some specials, right? Uh, yeah, so the happy hour um, is from 5 to 7 normally. Uh, our Paloma is one of the things that are on our happy hour. It's one of our house favorites. And we also uh, have another happy hour that features the painkiller. Uh, that second cocktail that we're going to make here in just a second. It's from 12 to 3. Yes. Nice. Yeah. I'm top it off with some ice. There we are. I'm going to hand this right off to you. Okay. I'll help garnish. Here we go. There we are. Ta-da! Beautiful, refreshing. All right, I'll give this a try, and then you're going to start on, um, what's the next drink? So this is going to be the painkiller. Uh, it's definitely probably within my top three favorite cocktails that we have here. It's a tiki cocktail. Uh, another thing that we batch out, we put some rum, cream of coconut, uh, orange juice, pineapple juice, and then we top it off with a little nutmeg. Ooh, so very tropical. Yeah, definitely a tiki uh, cocktail. Very, mm -hmm. uh, very refreshing, very uh, heavy, I would say, a very dessert drink mm -hmm. uh, that definitely features the rum. Got it. So we put five ounces mm -hmm. of the mix into our shaker tin, and we'll shake that before we get the Paloma. And you can go ahead. <laughs> you can come enjoy these drinks also and enjoy some live music, right? Yeah, so we have a live music series that goes on every Saturday. Uh, we have a lot of bands from a lot of different genres that show up right in the back patio over there and they come up to the window. We usually have these open. They can enjoy some of the drinks while they listen to music. Nice. Awesome. So live music, great cocktails. Just a good time. There we are. I'm just going to put some ice into this. And, and do you have a favorite drink on the menu? I do, yes. This is the next one we're going to be making. Here you are. Here's the stuff for. One. We just got to do one pineapple slice on there, one okay. of our beautiful red cherries. <laughs> there we and go. then we take this little microplane thing mm -hmm. and sprinkle some nutmeg. This gives it an amazing aroma Ooh. that goes very well with the rum taste and all the other tropical flavors that are nice. in there. All right, well, we have about 45 seconds. Let's try to get your last drink in. Again, this one's your favorite. Why is it your favorite? Uh, so it's got a lot of uh, character to it. It's very sweet, and I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, but it also has uh, a little bit of a medicinal taste because uh, there's a lot of cherry flavors in there. So we're Ooh. going to use all equal parts, three-fourths monkey shoulder scotch, some cherry herring, mm -hmm. some Antica formula sweet vermouth, Vermouth. How do you describe the taste of vermouth? Uh, vermouth is a little bitter, um, but it is also uh, very sweet, especially the uh, the sweet vermouth variety. Uh, it's definitely an interesting flavor profile that you won't really get anywhere else. All right. With the ice here. Um, now the, the drinks, while well, he shakes that, the drinks here nicely with all the food on the menu. And in the second half of the show, we will get a taste of the menu. Known for the ramen, right? And then uh, the, so many different things on the menu. So he's going to pour this one out, and then I'm going to get ready to send it back to Fiona and Mike. And then you can grab a drink with me here, and we can say cheers, right? I almost said happy Monday, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Monday. Right? Yeah. 